dust per cubic uh, meter in the environment because of the, of the requirements of the microfabric Is it so, under pressure? Or? Yes, a little bit over pressure. Over pressure. Over pressure. Uh, in this way, uh, everything goes outside. And yeah. there is a vertical circulation of air uh, from the room to the, to the paper. Uh, and okay, we have this, this, this new room is uh, one of the largest in the public reserve in Italy. It's 500 square meters. Oh. And we have a lot of equipment. And we have uh, areas with different dust levels, uh, lower level for more uh, delicate critical processes, and a little bit higher level for processes that can uh, live with a little bit uh, higher dust. Uh, class 100 is the highest class we have. Highest class means lowest dust. 100 is the number of uh, uh, dust particles per uh, cubic uh, foot. It's a uh, We are in a clean room. Uh, that essentially is a laboratory with a controlled uh, ambient. Uh, the control is uh, on the particles in the air. So this is a depolarized area. Uh, the um, control of particles uh, um, take uh, with uh, filters, absolute filters, on the top, on the floor, uh, and that push air uh, on, the, on the floor. And uh, the air can uh, go on this uh, and the uh, circle again on the filters okay so in, in the, which way this way we have uh, a, a dynamic with uh, less than uh, uh, 10 particles for uh, uh, for two meters okay so the, this, uh, this area uh, um, is a uh, um, laboratories are um, uh, spread by uh, the function. So here we have we are uh, um, photoresist in photolithography and uh, uh, wet and dry etching. Okay. So this is a technical. We are we have uh, um, metallization, metal deposition, and uh, we have furnaces and uh, thermal treatment. Photo masking laboratory. Ci andiamo, Ivan? Arriviamo subito. So, uh, we have um, spinner for photoresist, thermal treatment for photoresist for the polymerization, and uh, two mask liner to, uh, to make the, um, the photo masking. Um, this, uh, with the, um, our photoresist, we can reach a pitch of uh, less than one uh, micro micrometer and also we have a uh, this is a, a, a bonding bonding machine okay to bond wafers to to have uh, an example uh, my, microfluidic uh, devices okay uh, what, what do you use to bond uh, the glass or okay. silicon oxide oh uh, we can use uh, uh, it depends on the process we have fusion bonding in which we can fuse uh, silicon with uh, glass. Okay. Also have uh, um, a bonding with the SU8. SU8 is a photoresist. Okay. So it's a glue bonding. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends uh, also with the uh, silicon silicon and sil silicon dioxide on the both sides. Okay. It's a fusion bonding. Mm -hmm. Fusion bonding is uh, higher uh, temperature and press, uh, pressure. And uh, the glue bonding is a lower, lower temperature. It's up to 150 millimeters or 100 millimeters? 100. 100. All the, our uh, clean room is for uh, 100 mm, for each. Okay. For each. Some, um, some uh, machines are also for 6 inch, mm -hmm. one, 100 out. Uh, but um, now we have uh, all the masking. Uh, so, uh, but the new machines are...
metallic deposition okay so with the two spattering this one and the, the other machine on the bottom and the evaporation okay so two different methods the evaporation uh, is a, uh, a process in which uh, we melt uh, the, the, the material and uh, when, for evaporation the material can go on, on the target, on the target, on the, on the vapor, okay? Typically is uh, in an uh, anisotropic uh, um, process, so don't cover very well the, the wall of the action. The, the and uh, there we have a lot of materials, we can uh, deposit metals, oxides, uh, uh, whatever we do on. Uh, in this sputtering, uh, sputtering uh, is an isotropic material, it's an isotropic process, so it can cover all the, all the holes, and uh, we, uh, we have a clean sputtering and uh, the dirt, let's say, dirt on the, uh, for the electronic, microelectronic processes. So, uh, and, uh, we can, and uh, with this factor we can uh, deposit the typical material for vials. So, for, so um, let's say um, gold, titanium, uh, platinum, uh, also copper, and so on. Uh, with the different uh, uh, addition to layers. So we, we have a lot of uh, materials we can, we can deposit. But uh, with sputtering, only metals with evaporation also, uh, also oxide, metal oxide, zirconia. Uh, uh, thermal treatments and uh, uh, material depositions, not metals. So we have a stack of uh, furnaces, four and four, so eight furnaces for thermal treatment. All furnace, uh, all, all uh, oven is uh, heat on a particular process. So, in example, we we process uh, only thermal treatments with uh, microelectronic device uh, compatible devices. So, without any metals, we make uh, uh, metal um, thermal treatments. Okay. Here we perform uh, silicon nitride deposition. Here polysilicon deposition, and so on. In, in these other furnaces, we have uh, two furnaces for oxidation, wet oxidation. One, and uh, this one, and uh, this one. Uh, this one is for very clean for the gate of the moss. Mm -hmm. So for very clean process, and this is for the other. And uh, here we have a free deposition of phosphorus. So um, deposition of uh, dopant mm -hmm. for uh, dopant uh, uh, for dopant uh, process of silicon silicon process. Okay, here we have a uh, LTO. Uh, low thermal oxide deposition, LPC would be deposition. Oops, no problem. No problem. No, no, it's a problem. It uh, <laughs> and this is these two types uh, low thermal with a gas uh, source and this is a, with a liquid source. Uh, this is a very conformal uh, uh, oxide deposition and this is a less conformal one. But is used for higher thickness, so let's say one, two, up to five micron. This is uh, uh, for thinner, um, less thin um, uh, processes, let's say uh, 100 nanometers. Okay. The, the, the last room, but I, I avoid to uh, show you is the technical in which we have uh, all the machine that stay uh,
also in examples uh, vac uh, vacuum pumps uh, and chambers uh, and all is uh, not important for the process. So.